As you can tell by my 5% body fat at 250 pounds, I know how to manage a diet as a lifter. Okay, real talk, if there's one thing bodybuilders do much better than powerlifters, it's manage their diet. Proper body composition and fueling your performance are just as important for powerlifting, it's just not as visual as it is with bodybuilding where leanness very obviously and visually affects your physique. Let's go over my top nutrition tips for powerlifters. And first off, just focus on the basics. Proper calories and protein are going to get you the majority of your benefits. Are there other things that can help? Of course, but I see a lot of people get super neurotic and lose motivation worrying about tiny details. Focus on nailing the basics consistently first and foremost, and if you get the finer details, see it as a bonus, not a hampering. Now as far as calories, I went over bulking and cutting in another video, linked below. As for protein, well I'd say a decent guideline is 1 gram per pound of body weight or higher. Re-evaluation of old meta-analyses has shown the old guidelines were probably underestimating things. And there may be higher benefits up to really high levels, but again, there are diminishing returns here. Try to get 1 gram per pound of body weight. If you can get more, that's good, but it's not going to be the end of the world if you fail to. Now, something that can be the end of the world is a slippery bench press. But Odyssey makes these nonsense bench pads that let you train on a subpar bench pad, while still maintaining proper friction on the bench. This lets you better work leg drive and create your arch. These have helped me immensely train at a more commercial gym recently, and on more worn out pads at my powerlifting gym. You can get 10% off of code MADVENA, link below. Thank you to Odyssey. Anyways, now with protein down, let's talk about the other macros, carbs and fat. And to be honest, there isn't much of an issue with either as long as you don't get to the extremes. Low fat diets can get to the point you actually impair your hormone levels and low carb diets can decrease performance and gains. It doesn't seem that high carbs provide any benefit beyond that very low point as they may for endurance athletes. However, there is some evidence that localized glycogen depletion post-training could impair gains. So make sure you get the decent amount of carbs between training the same muscle, especially if you're doing cardio training of that muscle. Now, lastly, I want to talk about fiber. This is so underrated. It makes digesting all that protein and calories if you're bulking or at higher levels so much easier. Plus, there are a bunch of health benefits from the fiber itself. Focusing on vegetable and fruit intake to help hit this can also help you get a ton of other micronutrients alongside it. We can also just take supplements as well. I take psyllium husk, for example, given my higher caloric intake, and it makes my shits smoother than my head. So that basically covers the basics of nutrition for powerlifting. See the pinned comment in the description for where to contact me for coaching and programs, my socials, and Odyssey bench mats. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And once again, thanks for watching.